Welcome back to Zion's Redemption Radio Network. Today we're going to be covering chapter 15 of teachings of the doctrine of eternal lives. The chapter is titled Joseph Smith and Brigham Young. Brigham Young. It is said to be eternal life, to know the only wise and true God and Jesus whom he has sent. I will tell you one thing, as Brother Hyde has said, it would be an excellent plan for us to go to work and find out ourselves, for as sure as you find out yourselves, you will find out God. Whether you are a saint or a sinner, a man cannot find out himself without the light of revelation. He has to turn around and to seek the Lord his God in order to find out himself. If you find out who Joseph Smith was, you will find out you will know as much about God as you need to at the present. For if he said, I am a God to this people, he did not say, that he was the only wise God, and Moses was a God to the Israelite people. And I think the scripture says that um, Aaron was, I think Moses was Aaron's Elohim, uh, which in Hebrew doesn't mean a plurality of gods. What it means is, um, according to the Jews, it means a mighty one. So whenever it says the Lord your God in the King James Bible, um, the words in Hebrew are Yehovah Elohim, meaning Yehovah is our mighty one or our God. Um, God is a pagan word that the Christians have adapted to uh, for a translation um, of the word Elohim. Or L, so uh, just interesting things there. Anyway, Jesus was a God or a mighty one to the people when he was upon the earth and was so before he came to this earth and is yet. Moses was an Elohim to the children of Israel, and in this manner ye may go right back to Father Adam, Journal of Discourses. Volume 4, page 271. Brigham Young talking about Joseph Smith. So this is John Taylor. He said, When Joseph Smith had anything from God, he communicated to the children of men or to the church. What was it he had to fight against all the day long? It was the prejudices of the people, and in many instances he could not and dared not reveal the word of God to the people, for fear they would rise up and reject it. How many times has he faltered? It was not that he was particularly afraid, but he had to look after the welfare and salvation of the people. If the prophet Joseph Smith had revealed anything or everything which the Lord manifested to him, it would have proven to overthrow the people in many instances. Hence, he had to treat them like children and feed them upon milk and unfold the principles gradually, just as they could receive them. Was all this because it was so hard to comprehend correct principles? No. It was because we were babes and children and could not understand. How is it now under the administration of President Young? Much the same. In this respect, he has often found it very difficult to make the people understand things as the Lord has revealed them unto him. And that was John Taylor, Journal of Discourses, Volume 6, page 165. And this was John Taylor talking about Joseph Smith and Brigham Young. Next, we go on to Wilford Woodruff. Quote, Brother Joseph used a great many methods of testing the integrity of men, and he had taught a great many things which, in consequence of tradition, required prayer, faith, and a testimony from the Lord, 
before they could be believed by many of the, of the saints. His mind was opened by the visions of the Almighty, and the Lord taught him many things by vision and revelation that were never taught publicly in his day. For the people could not bear the flood of intelligence which God poured into his mind. You will see an advance in a great many things, for the Lord will open the mind of Brother Brigham and lead him into many principles that pertain to the salvation of this people. And we cannot close up our minds and say that we will go so far and no further. This we cannot do without jeopardizing our understanding, our standing before God. And this is uh, Wilfred Woodruff refer referring to Joseph Smith and Brigham Young, Journal of Discourses, Volume 5, page 83, 84, and 85. Wilfred Woodruff also said, There is not so great a man as Joseph standing in this generation. His mind, like Enoch, expands as eternity, and God alone can comprehend his soul. And this comes from the Apostle Matthias Cowley, Wilford, um, oh, that's interesting. Wilford Woodruff, uh, page 68. So Wilford, Wil, Wilford Woodruff wrote that down. And that was Wilford Woodruff's uh, referring to Joseph Smith. George Q. Cannon. The saints could not comprehend Joseph Smith. The elders could not. The apostles could not. They did, no, they did so a little towards the close of his life. But his knowledge was so extensive and his comprehension so great that they could not rise to it. Matthias Cowley. Oh, I'm sorry. That's George Q. Cannon. These quotes are a little bit weird. Um, anyway, that says MS. I don't know what that means. Uh, volume 61, page 626. The Apostle Richard G. Scott said, Brigham Young learned truth by carefully listening to Joseph Smith and striving to understand everything that was taught by word, example, or the spirit. The resulting tutoring has blessed generations. It conditioned Brigham Young to learn additional truths and to share far more than he had received personally from Joseph Smith. Follow his example. And that is, uh, as recorded, Richard G. Scott is recorded in the Enzyme Magazine, November 1993, page 81. And the next chapter will be chapter 16, Joseph Brigham and Heber, Heber will finish their work. So, real quick, just to sum this up, short podcast, I know, but we do one, one chapter per podcast. Um... Joseph Smith was warned by the Lord not to reveal everything because the people could not understand it. Um, he had to gradually try to give it to the people so that they could understand it over time. Brigham Young learned many things from Joseph Smith, and though Brigham Young didn't get everything 100% correct, he, he was able to teach the saints in the Utah Territory many things uh, touching upon the principles of the mysteries of the kingdom of God. So um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to learn about these things from the scriptures and the books and um, also from personal revelation and visions uh, where God has personally taught me these mysteries myself. And that's why I talk about them on these programs. So Thank you, everyone, for listening. Take care, everyone. God bless. And goodbye.